What's up everybody? Today will be a quick video, but it's been a long one in the making. About 12 months ago, in fact, exactly August 25th, 2018, I reached out to a forum famous refurbishing slash repairman for the Nikon F2. My goal was to get this thing in just perfect working order uh, because I want it to last another, you know, whatever, 35 years. I mean, the camera's old as it is. So uh, I was looking for the best guy to do the job. And according to everywhere where, where I researched, they said this guy, Silver Wong, out of the UK is the best. He's repaired some ridiculous number of Nikon F2s. He specializes in it. He replaces the phone. He makes sure the timing of the shutter speeds are all good. He takes the whole thing apart, gives you a complete breakdown of every step of his process, and he shows you uh, where there were issues and where there weren't and what he did. And this is why he is the top guy. So it's been 12 months in the making. I. I emailed him and I was a little bit shocked when I heard the wait period, which he said 13 months and we're actually uh, two months ahead of schedule. So it's pretty cool. But I wanted to show you the before and then in this same video, I'm going to show you the after. It's going to be about two weeks when I get it back. Not that uh, you'll have to wait that much time because I'm just going to edit it all together. Um, hope you enjoy. So it's been a little bit longer than expected, but uh, yes, let's open it up and see. So this is a letter from Silver Wong, kind of giving me some instructions on how to really take care of it. It says F2 body warranty till the 28th of July, uh, 2020. So that's good, it's for a full another year. Finder warranty is for a year because they actually had to end up replacing that because it was completely shot. The CD cells uh, warranty to 20 July 24 parts and labor. Oh wow, cool. Notes. Do not leave the shutter cocked. An example of the wound position for longer than 12 hours. If the shutter is left cocked for too long, then the shutter curtains travel times would not be even and there would be uneven exposure at very fast shutter speeds. Note that Nikon MDs always leave the shutter cocked after each trigger. So always manually trip the camera for the last shot before storing the camera. Alkaline and silver oxide batteries can get sweaty and leak out chemicals. Therefore, remove the batteries every three months. Check and remove any liquid on the batteries and inside the battery chamber. Remove the batteries when storing the camera for more than three months. I recommend 3VDL-1 third and lithium batteries because they don't leak. Always put the camera in a sealed plastic bag before taking it from a cold to warm place to prevent condensation forming inside and outside the camera. Do not put a right angle finder or magnifier on the F2 eyepiece ring because it's too weak to support them. Okay, cool. So that's awesome. It actually ended up being a lot more than expected, unfortunately, because I guess the camera was a lemon. Uh, he gives you a cleaning cloth and he gives you a CD. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to play this in, but uh, with a little, little coin that is appropriate for opening the battery. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's open this thing up and see what we have. That's right, I sent it, I sent it to him in this like plastic reusable bag here. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Beautiful. So he actually, oh wow, he actually replaced he had to replace this DP1 finder, this meter, um, and it just looks beautiful. Wow. Wow, yep, all brand new foam. Beautiful.
All right, we're back after I think, what, three weeks because the thing ended up being a complete lemon. Uh, and it got to the point where every time I would get an email, the price would just go up, but I had waited so long to get this camera fixed that I just said, just do it. So I actually ended up selling some other things so I could fund this repair properly. And I'm just gonna go quickly through our thread and what it was like. Uh, <laughs> Starts out, he says, hi Kyle, I've opened your package early because I'm waiting for the reply from two earlier customers. I just tested your camera and below are the findings. He said the rewind side top plate has a dent. Um, so he took care of that for me. He says uh, the slow and fast shutter speeds are off. And so he actually sends a word file showing the, uh, the detailed timings of the shutter speeds. Um, and he says, he says, there's not much springiness on the battery contact, so I suspect the battery chamber is cracked. The meter is jumpy and is about 1.5 stops off. And that was this DP1 unit right here. He said, if I don't hear from the two previous customers, then I'll service your camera tomorrow. And I let him know that I was looking for the best possible repair. I basically wanted the whole thing to be overhauled because I love the Nikon F2. I think it'll last forever. If, uh, if it's working just perfectly. Uh, moving on. <laughs> uh, okay, so he, he then lets me know that uh, one of his previous customers responded, and so he would be servicing it next week, which is what he did. And um, so then I get this other email that says, hi Kyle, near the end of servicing your F2 body, I had to stop as I found the following. Uh, it was opened by a cowboy to replace the shutter curtains. Scrape marks on the front chassis behind the front leatherettes. Replacement glue on the front leatherettes. The trailing shutter curtain, which was actually initially why I sent this camera in, was because I got a YouTube comment uh, saying that my, my shutter might be bouncing because it was darker on one side. And uh, I said the trailing shutter curtain was replaced by an F3 shutter curtain as the ribbons are thinner, see photo five. Uh, which I'll post right here. And also the placement of the trailing shutter curtains are off. It should be like the correct shutter curtains photo. Um, mechanisms were dry, so uh, he said see photos three and four. Since the placement of the shutter curtains are off, they produced strange shutter bounces which could not be compensated using normal means. Hence, I had to stop working on this body. The best solution is to replace the entire chassis with a donor one and reuse all the external parts. The cost is the extended body service at $350 instead of the standard body service at $240. Um, uh, finder extended service is $150. Is that okay? So he, you know, he asks me if that's okay and then I think about it and I was like, again, I, I've waited so long. Um, I've heard such incredible things about this guy. I said, yeah, sure, go for it. I'll just sell some shit. Um, so I said, yeah, go ahead and do it. He says the F2 body, and so he gives me the price and it comes out to $575, which I know is, is uh, I could probably at this point just go get another F2 that was in perfect condition. Uh, for that price, but then I would still need to get a CLA on it or um, and to have it worked on So I said just yeah, just go for it. I'm too deep now. Okay, so he emails me He says hi Kyle your f2 body is now completed I used a close serial number but lower grade f2 body with a good shutter curtains as the donor see photo six I Found the following during the service. It had not been opened or service before, original old glue on the front leatherettes, rotten internal and exterior external foams, dry mechanisms, see photos 11 and 12. And this is the best part about what he does is because he gives you photos along the way to describe what's going on. It's kind of cool to see the inside of the camera too. It's a really ingenious design. Uh, he lets me know that the battery chamber was cracked and uh, the tag was corroded, see photo 10. He says, I did the following during the service. He minimized the dents on my rewind side top plate. Uh, he modified the battery chamber and replaced the corroded brass tag with a tin plated one. He lubricated the base winding shutter and mirror mechanisms, cleaned the internal flash switch contacts, cleaned the mirror, calibrated all shutter speeds to so within one fourth stop accuracy, and then he says to see the word file. Uh, he checked the flash sync, he said it's okay at 1 80th of a second. 
he checked the uh, uh, the bulb, the time, and 10 second rewind fr uh, frame counter, MLU, and DOF buttons are all okay. Added two new alkaline batteries, replaced, um, he suggested replacing them with the lithium batteries as soon as possible because the alkalines can leak. And even when new, he said, he says, I've reused the following parts from your old body, top, bottom, and front plates, shutter speed knob, shutter collar and nut, advanced lever and cover screw, self timer lever, rewind knob, hot shoe and cover plate hinges, all external screws. I did not exchange a side plate because the donor body has a better one. He says, I will service your DP1 tomorrow, which is of course this uh, light meter. Okay, then I'm like, this is great. Uh, but then I get another email and it says, I've just opened your DP1 and found the following. It had been opened before as some slotted screw heads have damages by a bad tool. A pillar on the top chassis to secure the bottom chassis has broken off. Uh, as there are other issues with this finder, I deem it uneconomical to repair. He said he could offer me a conditioned DP1 for uh, a $50 difference. So basically I would give him my old bad one, which I'm sure he would repair and use that later on for something else. And then I would get one of his already serviced in great condition ones and that would be an extra $50. So the total then came out to uh, $605. So um, he offered to leave the finder unserviced and that would have been $405. But again, I was in so deep and I was planning on selling things anyway. So I just said, no, just make the camera right. So by this time, I'm basically into like two pristine Nikon F2s, but what I, I, I don't know. So I just, I just said, no, I'll just, just do it. I'll figure it out. And, and then he emails me July 17th. He says the DP1 is now completed. He said that he chose a nine condition uh, DP1 as the replacement, which I think I already told you that, but uh, he removed the dust inside the finder. He cleaned the ring resistor, moved its wipers to virgin tracks, replaced the old CD, uh, CDS cells with new ones. He refoamed the eyepiece frame, cleaned the lens and prism, calibrated the meter and checked it's accurate to within one third stop from LV5. I don't know what that is, but moving on. Um, he refoamed the base, photos five through seven, shows the difference between the old and replacement one. The replacement finder matches perfectly with the F2 body and appearance and approximately the same vintage. Uh, the old finder, oh, he said actually the old finder was too early for the body. So uh, total came out to what we said and he sent me some more photos and that's basically it. And we, I just said, thank you. And we got, we got all paid up. And, um, now we have a perfectly working Nikon F2 and I'm going to take this thing out and I'm going to make a second video, uh, taking it out shooting. Maybe we'll do some portraits. Maybe we'll do some nature landscapes. I don't know yet, but that will be in video too. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. You go cut your path and I'll go my own way. We will weather storms by ourselves and that's okay. Cause even though you're here, I still feel all alone. In my self-inflicted high, I wonder how I'll die.